Welcome to the Heffron Drive bus presented in HD. Hold up. Alright guys, so this is it. That's about it, really. That's the I'm just kidding. No, there's a whole bunch of other bus to see. Automatic doors, pretty cool, I think. Everybody say hello to Dustin. Relax and eat hello some cookies. Hello world! How are the cookies? They're actually really good. So the story behind these cookies is uh, Bill, <clears throat> or AKA Space Bar, AKA Space Bat, he's got a lot of different names, he's a very interesting guy. Uh, his parents live in the area and um, he'd been talking about cookies for a while. So so as a gift to me, he got me, I, he asked me what kind of cookies I liked, I got sugar cookies, so I got a whole tin full of sugar cookies, homemade, all of these are homemade, there's like seven different kinds, I can't believe she took Yeah, there's the like time. this fudge one that's pretty good too. Yeah, but actually, funny story, that's from a fan, isn't it? It is, actually. No, this th this is from a fan, this right here is from a fan. Oh. But so is the tree. This yeah, the tree was from a fan, she also gave us these, uh, those like Christmas popper. Which we used for m multiple things. Right. The tree is from a fan who thought it was necessary that we have a tree on the bus, which honestly I agree. Uh, because I usually have one at home, but since I'm not there right now, I don't have the time. Just a leather... Oh! That's weird. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing on the bus. <laughs> but, uh, that... So, here's what else we got. Dustin's got his computer set up. Working on some tunage. Working on some tunes, using my headphones, you know, my headphones using the Beats. Not sponsored, unfortunately. <laughs> Everybody has them anyway. Another gift from a fan. Take it out without putting the whole thing off. Take it off. So that is a, this is a handmade representation of my skull tattoo, which I thought was pretty cool. I had to keep it. I watch a lot of comedies, and I tweeted something about one of my favorite shows being Impractical Jokers, so Fan got me the first season on DVD. You know, I really uh, need a new dresser at home. <laughs> Maybe I can tweet, I need a new dresser, and then the next thing you know, I uh, I could Amazon use, Prime. I could use a new car too, preferably a Ferrari. I don't think they're gonna get you a car. Well, here's to wishing. Long story short, there's ten guys on this bus, so at times it gets pretty musty. Is that a good word? Uh, uh just outright stinky. Outright stinky, stinky as hell. S Sa, S stinky as hell. S, S, S A H. It's an abbreviation. Um, so I got these candles, and I'm a big stickler about candles actually. I specifically like to get soy wax just because when you're when it's finished you can just rinse it out and then you have this thing. Hey, cool cup. I mean, when the candle's done with, that's a sipping goblet if I've ever seen one. Well, uh, we like to try and eat as healthy as we can. So let me just show you the difference. And this is my section up here. Yeah. Sugar-free expect, I don't even know what that is. That's like mucinex but all natural, right? This, is, this isn't supposed to be here. I don't know what that's doing. This is in this section. So up here I got Throat Comfort, Honey Lemon, Yogi. Got some whole caught tuna, because you don't want to get that netted stuff that causes a lot of problems. Right, kids? Right. And got some uh, Chicken Tortilla Soup 365. Everyone loves Whole Foods. My favorite, though, <laughs> Pacific Foods. All natural chicken noodle soup. It's delicious. I've got a... Uh what I like to call comfort foods because sometimes I don't like all this organic stuff so I have here some Campbell's home style Mexican style chicken tortilla soup that is microwavable and it is tasty. To note though, no preservatives added so there were... See, these, yeah. I'm, I'm stepping it up a little bit. I'm not going to show you what this is because that's kind of disgusting. But I also have some Campbell's chunky baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits made with fresh potato soup. Two thirty nine at Walmart. A healthy supply of cheese. A healthy supply of cheese. We of have all kinds. We have a mother load of cheese it's on this bus. And this just so happens to be Scrabble, the junior version. Not sure what the difference is, but they taste great. Something else to, to note in this cabinet is uh, a healthy abundance of cups. Remember what I said about the candles earlier? This, believe it or not, was a candle, but now it's a sipping cup. And recently I got some mugs to drink coffee out of because you have to distinguish your mug. You don't want anyone using your mug. So I got this mug, something cool, earthy about it. I got another one. I've been eating soup out of this one. This is my soup mug. If you couldn't tell we like soup around here. Yeah. We eat a lot well, of soup. Well, because it's easy, the microwave, you know, all that stuff. And everyone's got a cup up here, which is good because honestly, there's a lot of coffee drink in this place. 
this has become a staple on this tour. We have our George Foreman grill that our front of house guy Chris brought. I've made a ton of bacon, and we grilled some chicken. Some chicken. Made, made some chicken breast. Made a what was like an egg, a, a chicken oh, sandwich. Yeah. Something to note about this is that uh, there's no drip pan, as you can see. So we just take a plate, put it under there, and it drips. Uh, I actually heard recently. Josh was saying that Adventure Club doesn't use a drip pan. Oh yeah. They just strip it into the sink, which, hey guys, not good for the pipes. Clog up your bus. That's what she said. Use a drip pan, especially when making bacon. And that's the great thing about a George Foreman, fresh bacon on the bus, which everybody knows makes ev everybody happy. Mm. What else? You can never go wrong with bacon. Down here? We got a toaster. Toaster, Important. hot water heater. Two kettle. Some, uh, this is for Vic. Vic is our security guy. Of course, he has a muscle milk because you know he's the muscle. Something about this bus drove me nuts for like what a week and a half, two weeks. Let's just do this real quick. Okay, so this is my water. Mm -hmm. So good, tasty. Mm -hmm. mm, chug, chug, chug. Ooh, how was that? Good. I'm gonna throw this away now. Okay, you can throw it away. Being responsible and recycling. Oh wait, that's not the trash can. On every single bus I've ever been on, this is always a trash can. So for a week straight. I would get up and do that same thing and just go, oh my god. Here's where the trash can is. Really? I got it now. Check out the bunks. Well first, of course, like any 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 introduction to somebody's home. Well this is like yeah, this is like the cribs version. Yeah. They always they always show you what's in the fridge. Or if you can't you know, a similar show like that. Here's what's in the fridge. Hot sauce, of course. More hot sauce. Hot sauce. Some balsamic. Just like to make my plug for Taco Bell. Something interesting, and it didn't really happen, I'm kind of disappointed. There's, these are Cascade Pellet Hops. So everybody on this bus is of drinking age. Uh, we're all adults, and occasionally we like to have a brew. So one of our um, crew happens to be a brewmaster and was going to make homemade beer on the bus, which I think was just exciting in general because there's been a lot of homemade stuff going on, like turkey for Thanksgiving. Oh, Kendall made a turkey. on the bus in a turkey oven right there in the counter. And then uh, what else? We made a roast. Made a roast. So basically we're saying we're homemade kind of guys, you know. So Chris was going to make some beer, but um, it was really cold and didn't really ever work out. What else we got? Jam. Oikos. It's a three-day-old mac and cheese. Yep, we should probably chuck that soon. Not, not looking too too dandy. Important blueberries. Uh, oh, some hummus with the lid off, so I'm gonna go ahead and just... Hey, you found the trash can! Yeah, I got it. Some uh, soggy lettuce, always good. And uh, that's pretty much it for right here. <clears throat> so well, it's really clean in here. As I'm sure you probably know, every bus has what they call a junk bunk. This just so happens to be our junk bunk. Which is, it's nothing in it. It's, uh, yeah, no, there's there's nothing in it. We tried to make it look presentable, but let's face it, let's just show you, guys, you let's yeah, just show you this. Um, we got some Nerf gun boxes, which I'm not quite sure why. I don't know where that one went. I just, I just bought that and I don't know where it is. Oh, here's an, oh, look at this. Still got another one, there's three in here. Oh, I've been causing havoc with this. Have we got a dart anywhere? This is a frequent uh, thing in the junk bunk is a lot of throwing people's stuff around. Oh, here we go. Got it. I picked this up because it looked really entertaining and uh, more entertaining than a Nerf gun because it does everything by itself. And I was like, you know, getting pretty good at this. Actually, I'll show you real quick. I made a bullseye. It's, uh, it's getting a little worn out at the moment. But uh, let me go, you stay there, I'll go behind you and see if I can shoot a bullseye. Bullseye! So I've been causing a lot of problems with that on the bus. I've been shooting everybody. And I, I really don't think they like it. Let's head on back to the junk bunk. Leave the van! My, my bunk looks like a junk bunk because I'm, I was just trying to make it look clean for you guys. So I'll eventually just sprawl everything out. This is, uh, this is my bunk here. This is where the magic happens. By magic, I mean this is where I sleep. Right, let's just, this is what Dustin wears when he gets up in the morning. I found this amazing onesie, and it's uh, <coughs> Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. I think it's 
pretty awesome if I say so myself. I would say embarrassing. I went to breakfast wearing that today. I didn't. He sat next to me. He's lying. Oh, oh my gosh. That's so weird. You, what so, is this? It's so crazy. What is this? I, uh... <laughs> why do you... Why well, do you sleep with a Heffron Drive pillow? You know, I just can't get enough of myself. And... Evidently The not. best thing to do is just sleep with myself. And you know... <laughs> Honestly, pretty cool. It, it actually is really, really cool because the, there's inside the bunks there's an air conditioning little bit that comes down. It keeps my pillow cool, which is always important, as you should know. Oh, can't forget this. I always have a box of cheese it's in my bunk. Oh, God, I hope they pay you one day. <laughs> it's a pretty cool lounge back here. Oh, uh, uh, hey guys. It's a space bar. Are you supposed to be doing load in right now or? What time is it? It's at the afternoon. Uh, somebody else go. probably come took on, care go, of it. No, no, get to work. Here we go. Come on. This is what we deal with on a daily basis. So, this is the back lounge where um, people lounge and should be working. And what do we have room. back here? Come on, let's check it out. Did you hand me some of those Cheez Its? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we have a mother load of Cheez Its on the bus. Uh, this one says for Kendall and Dustin from Cali Mace. And Space Bar. Space Bar. It doesn't space say Space Bar anywhere on it, but you can have them. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. We also Come have, on, uh, get, get out, get, go, 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 get to work, get to work. White cheddar, just in case. You got a closet full of stuff. Spare blankets. You got, oh, Dustin was giving this, fan gave you this, right? That's true, they did. Uh, Taco Bell Crunchy Taco Taco Dinner Kit. I can't make it on the bus. We haven't figured out a way yet, but. What, what do you have to have? Well, you have to grill up hamburger. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. George but as soon Foreman, as I get home, George I will. Foreman, maybe. Uh, some buses have like a bed in the back, like a star lounge or whatever. Everyone's in bunks on this one, but the cool thing about this is that, Dustin, it's already, it's already out. You want to demonstrate? Let me demonstrate to you the power of the King 2000 bed. Do, 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 do. How you feeling over there? Are you comfortable? Worth every penny. The got, uh, this is important. Kindle's air filter. I, I brought this from home. I put this in my suitcase actually because I needed to have it. I'm not sure how much it actually helps, but it makes me feel better. I wasn't lying. Um, we have more Cheez Its back here. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. And then we, we've been uh, we've been documenting the uh, the tour. So I've got this case that has. Uh, a bunch of GoPros in it. We've been filming things. GoPro Hero 3. And all over the bus there are uh, apparatuses to attach those cameras with. Yes. Uh, we don't watch tons of TV. If we did, I would say movies and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know. I'm glad. Did anyone ever notice the. Uh... <laughs> those, are, those aren't ours. They came with the bus. No. <laughs> no, no, no sex whips and no. furry handcuffs for us. Nope. You know what? Some fan out there is going, I gave that to them. Yep. So it's not our fault. Oh, you I know to something we got in here. Found this. This is, this is pretty cool. I actually brought with me a portable Super Nintendo with all the games. So, uh, got the, uh, the connector cable. You can hook it up to the TV. Got the chest mount for the GoPro. We got tons of GoPro stuff. Star Wars collection. That's nice. Star Wars. Trash can. And uh, an extra cooler, but nothing really in there. Uh, oh, there was a problem in the beginning because there's a few bigger guys on the bus, right? And everybody wanted to have the middle or bottom bunk, not the top, which I personally don't. My bunk's like not that high, but it's still I have to jump up to get into it. So uh, everybody picked these, and then our, Vic, our security guy, came on the bus, and he's a larger guy, and um, was like, where's my bunk? And then they were like, well, right here. And he was like, no, it's not. And he's like, who's here? Or, wait, he seems here? Yeah, Vic's down here. And he was like, who's here? And our, our keyboard was like, I'm here. And he goes, is this your first tour? He goes, yeah. He goes, you're sleeping up top. Uh, this is my doing. You'd be amazed what gaff tape can do. Like I said, because things get so stinky, uh, I prefer to have things smell good. So I get one of these reed diffusers and just gaff tape the hell out of it to the wall. And the good thing about gaff tape is normally it shouldn't leave much of a tape residue. Oh, also something to note about my bunk is the... Uh, I have a portable air purifier right here that is also gaffed to all get out. 
really hope it doesn't ruin the finish. And then can't forget the loo. This bus luckily has a shower, which I took one earlier today. It's really nice. And I install, as every time I go on tour, my filter for the water because you never know where that water's coming from. I want to make sure. I can tell you where it's coming from. A truck stop in Illinois in a hose, somewhere. Which is exactly why you want to filter it. There's a grinder on the bus, so let's just say you can go. If you've got the flow, you can go. You can go. And that's what we're lucky to have on this bus, because not all buses have that. A lot of times there's a no solids rule, if you know what I'm saying. I think it's been really fun. We've pretty much showed you everything that's on the bus. I think so. Uh, basically what you've learned is that there's a lot of Cheez-Its, candles, candles, and dudes. And junk. And junk. Dudes and their junk. But you know what? Feels lived in. Feels like home. So I hope you guys had a good time. But unfortunately, we need to enjoy our space now. So if you don't mind, yeah, go ahead and open up that door and just skedaddle. See ya.